Hey everyone, this is Virgo Panda here with a ride on Electric XP 3.0 and uh, Long Range, by the way, Electric XP 3.0 Long Range, and also my spouse riding the Zenroll e-bike. Um, the Zenroll is similar to the very first model of the Electric XP, the 1.0, old school, but faster, quite a bit faster actually. Anyway, we're just out riding. We're trying to find this one trail we have not been on. Um, and she wanted to go by a area in Aurora near us where her friend is our friends um, we've known forever is going to be moving or was going to be moving so she wanted to go check out these new houses that were almost uh, um, almost done being built so anyway it's a beautiful fall day and if anyone knows anything Colorado is a great area um, you know especially this time of year fall winters even though people think it just snows and snows here Winters can get into the 60s, and we get lots of sun here, to be honest with you. Uh, Aurora, Colorado is probably the biggest, it is the biggest city within the Arapahoe County, which is one of the largest counties, especially in land mass. Uh, Aurora, Colorado is the third largest city with a population of, you know, believe it or not, we're pushing, Aurora is now pushing 400,000. And ultimately in the future, Aurora is going to be bigger than Denver. Uh, the reason being, Aurora can keep expanding. Denver is surrounded by you know suburbs all around it so it can it can't go too much it can't go anywhere it can expand it can only go up <laughs> that's about it anyway as you can see look at how blue those skies are we're just riding around she's of course she can move a lot faster than me on that e-bike but she also can be a little intimidated by that one because that one goes i would say between 32 and 35 miles an hour it'd go it'd go guaranteed 32 with me on it so of course she weighs like you know 80 90 pounds less than me so she hops on it she's flying in like third you know just a thir um, third speed or third gear whatever you want to call it so level three so anyway that's a it's a meat and potatoes bike i'll put a couple of bikes that are very similar to this because basically that zenroll e-bike is like a white label bike which means the company pays for it and they make a you know they're all about cookie cutter bikes and they just put their brands on there so i'll leave some links of ones that are just exactly like it so you can see anyway so this that e-bike is is pretty cool in regards to that it was cheap like that bike was like six seven hundred dollars in comparison to my electric xp 3.0 um, long range, which at this time was probably around thirteen or fourteen hundred dollars, I believe, at the time of purchase. How do I feel about the Electric XP 3.0 long range? Um, be honest with you, I love this bike. Um, I think it's a great budget bike, but a little bit, it's a higher level than your average budget bike. To be honest with you, there's lots of stuff you can add to it to make it even more comfortable. I'm going to be switching the seat and putting a nicer seat on it. It has adequate speed. It's not as quick as my old Electric XP 1.0. Um, and I think it more comes down to that they've refined the motor a lot better. And probably the motor lasts a lot longer too. Because you know if you had the 1.0, that bike whined. You could, hear, you could hear it from a mile away when you're going fast. People are like, what the heck is that sound? This one is a much quieter bike even though it's a hub motor. It is also a more powerful bike. And the battery that comes in the long range is 14 AH versus the regular one, which is 10 AH. So the maximum range is 65 miles an hour, and that's probably on level one. But I, I can guarantee you this, this bike will go, and I'm sure my butt will give out before this bike dies on me from running out of juice. Also, my Zenroll um, battery will actually fit in this, so the Zenroll battery is about the size of electric XP 1.0's uh, battery. So if I really wanted to, and it was just me, because um, she don't really ride the e-bikes without me, to be honest with you, I would yank out the Zenroll's um, battery and take it with me if I really wanted a secondary bike. But I don't see really a reason to do that unless I was going camping and just taking one bike and so and I wouldn't have really the ability to charge. Anyway, there's tons of packages. There's a passenger package. I might get that just to have it. But you never know. She might want to hop on here with me. We might want to, we could be somewhere because now we have a camper and we might want to run into town or run down the street and we can, you know, she can hop on there with me and we can go, you know. Why not? So, yeah, I think that's a really great thing. I will also leave a link for another bike. You see my other review of a smaller bike I got that has a big battery that I will also be taking on trips if I don't take the Electric XP 3.0. Um, I like about it, it folds smaller. Uh, it's a smaller bike. It has 14-inch wheels, but it has a bigger battery, and it can still do about 22 miles an hour, which is plenty adequate in cities and stuff like that, and it's a hub motor. So, with that being said, um, 
I have no complaints really about the Electric XP 3.0. Just keep up on the maintenance. It doesn't look as cool because it has a 3 inch tire versus an old school 4 inch as the old one had. But that also gives it, it can go a further distance. And honestly, I would rather have on this e bike a, um, I would rather have the, um, like a passenger style tire or road tire versus the the knobby tires like it kind of has on it now but that's neither here nor there it still works great um you can see as we're riding really great time really great pace we're making beautiful out here by the way and this new year i will also be making more videos i didn't make as many e-bike videos and what happened was to be honest with you i took a, another job at the time that kind of ate up a lot of my time I, so I always have two or three jobs. Well, anyway, that job didn't really work well with my work-life balance, and I found a much better second job that was is also remote, so I'll be able to do more videos. And also, now that I have the camper, me and my son or me and my spouse and my son or just me are going to yank that camper and take off multiple times. She took it herself, her and her girlfriend, and they went out to like Grand Junction area, I believe it was somewhere and camped all by themselves. So I'm definitely going to do the same thing. And I'll be taking e-bikes to take, um, you know, take some videos, answer some questions, tell you, show them, show you how they work and just generally how fun they are. And by the way, I use the throttle not that much. Um, I use my bikes. I may be level four. I may be level two. I may be level three. But I always try and use my legs because I've been trying to get some exercise out of also riding. I know not everyone can do that. But um, if you can't, then you just use the throttle. Um, that's fine, too. It still goes over 20 miles an hour with throttle. Also, I don't know if I mentioned this with the 3.0, if you have the passenger package on this, it can hold a rider in the back up to 150 pounds, which is pretty cool. So and I've also seen people on these bikes with like their spouse on the back uh, there, it has hydraulic brakes in both the front and the rear uh, 48 volt lithium ion of course uh, it has a thousand watt peak uh, rear hub motor with 55 of torque um, and the pedal assist wattage regulation they call it uh, makes the power smoother and it does it doesn't yank you like the 1.0 used to do if you have that one you know it kind of it can kind of jerk you along sometimes and surprise you if you're not used to how the power comes on. This is, is a lot smoother. Um, throttle only on this one. The long range can go about 30 miles claimed on, at, on nothing but throttle. And I believe that. And that's with someone I believe that's around 180 pounds. So if you're you know small enough, say you're 120 pounds, <laughs> you, but you're probably going 40 miles on this bike on nothing but throttle. You're legit, literally fly. You're flying for one in lower gears or lower levels, but also you can go a lot further. But it says 30 miles is what they've tested it at in Phoenix. So hey, I believe them. I think it can do that. Um, so if you're tired or you you know you can't really use your legs all the time like that, then you know you at least got 30 miles of range if you use the throttle only. And like I said, the throttle works really well. It's good and powerful. I have no complaints about it. Um, you see, we're just riding around. The Zen Roll did really well. She likes riding that. Um, she doesn't like it riding the smaller one as much as this, as that one. She just says this, that one feels more, um, balanced to her, um, which I can get. The other one can get used, you have to get used to it. And for me, the smaller e-bike you're not seeing in this video, I, it's more for me to like zip around a city, you know, stuff like that like a coastal town or something like that but folds up small so it doesn't take up a bunch of room if i'm camping or doing car camping while i'm on a trip you know stuff like that so with these two bikes together they're great bikes so if i really wanted to i know i'm sure i could pull the um the tires off the zen roll which are four inch fat tires and put them on my electric xp 3.0 and they're i believe the same brand to quote quote me on the brand but it's the brand both of them use it's a tr chinese brand and i've never had any problems out of them i had a flat once years ago on electric xp 1.0 but that had to be had more to do with me not airing back up after i was riding on the sand in portland on the by the ocean in portland or portland in oregon and not uh, airing back up and then riding in the city in seattle and getting shark bites in my um tubes that was it but these tires even on the 1.0 i had they lasted a really long time everyone so i don't have no complaints about these these tires i can't remember the name of them but you can look them up um they use them on most e-bikes that come from china and electric xp is a bike that is designed here their call centers here customer services here but it was it's built over there because it's cheaper that's how they can offer it cheaper than what it is here 
Um, build quality wise, as I said in other videos, I think it's solid. It's a lot more solid than the 1.0, which was one of my favorites, but it was, you know, rickety. <laughs> If that's a word, it was a rickety bike. It made all types of noises. You had to tighten it up here, figure out what was going on here. This bike is a lot more well put together. The brakes are much better. The power is much smoother. Um, the Zen Roll is basically like that. Um, so the Zen Roll is like a Viper. If you never know anything about cars, the Viper, no air conditioning, very little safety features, but super fast. This is more, this is smoother, like a Tesla, I guess you'd say. Everything's there. It's like a Tesla and, you know, and it's a lot smoother how the power comes on, easier to ride, easier to, you know, just chill out and ride around. Anyway, we're heading back now. Like I said, these are two of these bikes. I'll leave a couple of links in the description if you're interested in some of these bikes that I've tested. And uh, no, no problems with us out of these bikes. I do like my electric XP 3.0 and I got it later in the year, year. I didn't have it the whole year last year, so I can't wait for the new adventures this year in new areas to go explore while riding Electric XP 3.0 long range. Anyway, everyone, this is Frugal Panda. I want to thank everyone for watching my videos. They really, um, I hope I'm helping some people out there who have want, are curious about these e-bikes. And I enjoy them. I'm pushing 50 years old, by the way, everyone. And I really enjoy riding. And these brought back you know, the joy of riding for me and let me go explore stuff. Have a great day, everyone. Get out there and have some fun.